when I went for the first week um, to European Space Agency as a student on one of their programs, I really felt like I wasn't going to fit in, like it was all going to be really geeky and that it wasn't going to be like my kind of people. Um, and actually I find it to be quite the opposite and I immediately felt at home. But making that first step can sometimes be the most scary of all and I think it's just getting that initial exposure um, to those environments and, and to make people realize, oh yeah, actually I do fit in. Um, is the most important and it, in many ways it's the most simple as well. It can be as small as sort of, you know, meeting like Tim Peake at a conference or something for, for one minute um, and that can change the way that um, people take their careers and, and their aspirations and what they want to do. So I think the role of the teacher is incredibly important and there's definitely a few teachers that really stand out to me when I, when I was growing up and I, I certainly think that I followed subjects when I was younger because they made the subject exciting and interesting. Um, one of those was my maths teacher, Mr Griffiths, um, and I always felt at home in the, in the classroom in maths, he was really inclusive um, and I think he really encouraged all of us within his class to, to follow that subject and um, likewise I remember um, another teacher that I had when I was really small and him saying, don't see things for what they are, see things for what they could be. And that's really interestingly like a motto that I've kept with me throughout all the tough times. I say it to myself before all my exams. Um, and, and I think having those kind of people um, early on um, really helps shape um, your future. I think role models are really important, um, both in the scientific and sort of adventure community, and certainly I had lots of role models which um, led me on my journey. Um, and I think particularly women in both STEM and sort of adventure communities as well are very underrepresented at the moment. I have to admit that most of the role models that I had were male um, when, I was, when I was studying and when I was looking at what I wanted to do, and that's purely because there weren't that many girls working in the environments that I wanted to, to work in. There was certainly one or two, um, so Felicity Aston um, is one that um, definitely sticks with me as being a, a role model for me, but yeah, it was much more um, the men that I was following um, when I was growing up. So I think it would be really exciting to have a few more girls working in those environments um, for, for younger girls to follow. I think my journey um, really highlights how important it is just to follow what you enjoy um, and what, what interests you because I've always been encouraged to do that from a young age which I think I feel really grateful for because it actually just turned out that the job arrived and I happened to have the right experiences rather than planning to sort of make my experience right for that particular role and, and I think unless I had followed what I'd wanted to do um, I never would have had the right experience um, to get the job in the first place. Well, I think there's so many transferable skills um, which you can learn when you're at school which can help set you up for working and living in these remote environments both in Antarctica and in space. And I think that's why it's so important to have a diverse team both of men and of women because everyone can bring their own different thing to the table which is, which is so important when you're working in teams um, in these environments. Music